So, quick background on myself. I was born in Cedar Rapids. I was born in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and um, I actually won my first photo contest in high school. But I think I was too baked all the time that really I missed my <laughs> calling. You know? um, I moved to Colorado at the age of 19 where I got a job uh, drop in the Rockies driving snow cats. And I worked construction during the summer, so there was a lot of great photo ops in the Rockies when I was growing up there. Um, I moved to Santa Cruz in 88, and I was fortunate enough to get here just in time for the quake of 89, <laughs> which we just had the anniversary for last Monday, right? Yeah. So, um, happy day, we made it through that. Um, I started building on my own um, after getting to California, um, playing with cameras and shooting the whole time. I was fortunate enough to travel extension extensively and shoot many photos, which I think really influenced a lot what I look for today when I'm shooting. Um, a while ago, I went through some serious transitions. Um, I had bilateral shoulder reconstruction. I was a building contractor for 30 years. Um, I had both my shoulders reconstruction. The economy tanked. I lost my dad and I said, you know what, I need a serious change at this point. So I ended up at Cabrillo which is one of the best moves I've ever made in my life. Um, I got into a bunch of different classes, but the photography classes sucked me in right away, um, which is when I really got serious about shooting. Cabrillo's classes are awesome. I highly re recommend, if anybody has any time at all, to get into Cabrillo. It changed my life for the best, man. So after exhausting several photography classes, um, and they used to have to kick me out of the photo labs. I had just gotten out of school and one Monday morning, I'm out cruising around, it was bacon, and I saw humpback whales lunch feeding in 20 feet of water, right off of Capitola Beach, and right off of Capitola Jetty. So I went down to the wharf, and I tried to shoot them off the wharf, and I knew right away that wasn't happening. So um, I just gotten out of school, I was a starving student, having both of my shoulders reconstructed. So I debated whether or not to spend a hundred bucks to jump in a boat and go out and photograph the whales. Well, I did it. It was the best hundred bucks I've ever spent in my life. Um, and it changed my life forever. Um, you know, it, it made me rich spiritually in terms of spiritual enrichment, but it was a wake-up call for me. Um, I maintain at least a hundred yards. I know the drill. I was mostly drifting and feeding when the whales were feeding. <clears throat> but a couple times, the humpbacks came up so close to the boat that I couldn't get my camera to focus. So I actually missed my best shots. Nonetheless, I got some six shots of the humpbacks in 20 feet of water, off the beach, scooping anchovies right out of the sand. Um, they were standing on their tails. Um, scooping anchovies out of the sand. I also got a shot of a humpback sticking its head out of the water close to 38th Avenue Beach in front of Jack O'Neill's house. And I gave the shot to uh, Pat's son, Jack's son Pat, and Jack got, a, got the shot. And he emailed me, he goes, hey, thanks for the great shot. So that kind of made my day, you know. He goes, I've never seen the whales that close before. So, um, anyway, in all seriousness, that day changed my life forever. Seeing a 20 plus ton behemoth come flying out of the water with anchovies that are everywhere, it was something out of an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Uh, but the thing that blew me away was looking a humpback in the eye several times in one day, I soon realized the, way the whales were fully aware of my presence and they knew where my boat was the whole time. And suddenly, like a slap in the face, I realized I was interacting with a highly evolved species in their world. And I thank God that they are friendly because they could have slapped me like a fly. And it was quite a wake up call for an Iowa boy, let me tell you. So, anyway, at the time I was going through a serious midlife transition, I think. Fate put me on the water that day right out of photography school. I ended up sending the whale, the whale photos to the Sentinel, 
they were published the next day, and after that, there was 300 people on the water shooting on anything that would float. <laughs> Since that life-altering day for me, little did I know this is the beginning of my adventures with marine mammals on the water. Because several of my best friends own boats, and we love our water time. So about a year ago, we got into orcas, and I was, had the privilege of filming a pod of 40 plus orcas and their babies, and it was amazing. Um, three weeks ago, we tracked two big hump at, or two big orcas all the way to Big Sur, and then last week, before the rains, we filmed a really rare species called the fin whale, and um, anyway, so, Recently, the last few minutes, I've been on the water quite a bit, and I found my calling. You know, I love shooting sunsets, but I'm really into the marine mammals. I'm actually going out in the morning to film, film whales tomorrow morning. Um, I came here today, tonight, to plead to all of you to start hashtagging all your photos. Please respect the ocean. Please respect the river. We're, as photographers, we're in a great position to spread more environmental awareness to the world. And, you know, for me, the whales, I've got so much enrich enrichment. Uh, it's changed my life forever being on the water with the whales. So, I didn't come here tonight to promote myself. I came here tonight to plead to all you guys to help me make an environmental impact with our photography for the whales. I came here for the marine mammals and to see if I could keep Matthew going as well. So, anyway. Thank you, Don.